This is Mark Kepler, Purdue University Extension Service, and I'm here with a noisy guest today, and that's the sheep, not you. Uh, but we're going to talk about showing sheep here at the, at the Fulton County Fair, and we've got uh, with us... Whitley Barkman. Whitley Barkman. How many years in 4-H? Uh, well, this will be number, I think this is seven or eight. Seven or eight years in 4-H. What grade are you going to be in school? I'm going to be a sophomore. I'm going to be a sophomore school at? Uh, Rochester. Rochester. Okay. So you've been doing sheep for a while. Yeah. How so well have you do? Do you do good in showing or do you do good in showmanship or the actual animal? I usually do good in showing and which place it comes in in the breed. Showmanship yeah. has never been my strong suit because there's always been hard competition. Really good so competition. They're, they're always so nice. I think there is a lot of good competition in all the programs here yeah. as far as that showmanship goes. Mm -hmm. And so we'll talk a little bit about that aspect of it. But thank yeah. you for, for working with us today and, and doing this. So here's my first question. If I if I'm I got a sheep, what is the judge? Well, first off, what breed is this? There's different breeds. This? is a South Down. South Down. Mm -hmm. So okay, and some of the other breeds have names like? Uh, there's a Suffolk, Suffolk, I'm saying it wrong. Suffolk. There's, yeah, Suffolk, sorry, my bad. Yeah. Uh, we, I show uh, Horn Dorsets, okay. and there's Crossbreds, okay. and uh, you can show them as like natural colors and stuff okay. like that. There's so when you show a Dorset, you show it up against a class of other Dorsets, mm -hmm. and Horn when Dorsets, you do yeah. a South Down, you do class of other South mm -hmm. Downs. And some sheep you go for, uh, they're shown for their meat. Okay. Some are shown for their wool. Like, okay. Um, the krills in there, a lot of their sheep still have their wool still on them. Okay. They didn't shave them because they are a wool And breed. that's a different breed altogether. Mm -hmm. Do they have like Columbia's or Rambolets or do you know what? I don't what? think they have any here, but okay. uh, they definitely do, they do the have the state it. fair and okay. other bigger fairs. So that was the purpose of sheep to begin with lots of times yeah. was the fact of the wool. Mm -hmm. Wool is not worth near what it used to be oh. worth. And so we're really looking more at the meat characteristics mm -hmm. of these different sheep. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there's a, a new kind of sheep, new, if you want to use that terminology, <laughs> called hair sheep. Um, and we don't have anybody showing hair sheep, I don't think, here. Yeah. But they, are, they don't have wool. They just lose their hair. And, and so they don't have wool. You didn't know those kind. I did not know but, those. So people are starting to grow them because the wool really isn't worth much. And it's a real hassle to have to yeah. shear it off there. So. Right. What's the, what with this breed are we looking at more than anything? Really, it's just for a meat breed and I mean, it's the same as the crosses, I think. And all you're really looking for when a judge is doing or judging, obviously, mm -hmm. they're going to look for two things. They're going to look for the meat and the muscle. Yep. And of course, that's it. And they're going to look at the composition between uh, how fat they are and the muscle that they have because okay. fat gives the meat flavor. Okay. So with this animal, this is a... Girl, boy, male, this female? This is a female. A female, referred to as a? You. You, okay. And has it had children? No. Which would be lambs in this yes. case. Yeah. So it would be a ewe lamb, yes. right? Okay. Lamb. So we're going to judge this as a breeding stock, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we really want to look at it from a breeding standpoint. And uh, then there are also weathers that come in, yeah. castrated males, mm -hmm. that also are looked at from a meat, more of a meat yeah, standpoint also, yeah, to that thing. So you're talking, let's look at this animal again. We want to see some width. Where do we like to see the width at? Would you, when we show I'll hold it. In stuff, fact, I'll just hold we it. Wanna, we want to have them stretched out. Yep. Really okay. We definitely want them stretched out so you can okay. them, but want to stretch out so you can see all the muscle. And then when you show them, you're going to have okay, to put your so. knee into them. All right. And the reason for that, and I'll be the judge here all of a sudden, is because you want to put that knee into them because when I come up here and go, you want to brace yourself so they don't go jumping, do they? Definitely. And okay. when you, you want them to brace too because when they brace, they flex. Yep. And it makes all of their muscles look bigger. Okay. And the judge can definitely tell where the muscles are and where they're hollow, where they need to work, where the loin and everything, where all the muscles right. build up. So it's just not standing here with this animal. No. You're playing. You're playing with this animal. Uh, I'm the judge. I'm coming up, and you're putting that animal to its best ability yep. that there is with it. You want to set them up to where their feet are in line with their shoulder, yep. and their back feet are stretched out. Coming back, okay. And the judge, oh, lots of judges are different, but the judge we had on Monday said that they want their neck at a right angle, so they okay. want it up. Okay, up like that. Kids had them down. Okay. You want a right angle. And you definitely want to keep your knee in And so that pulls the skin when you do that and causes it to look better up through yes. there. Okay. Very, very good. 
push Very into good. them, so they brace onto you, and they all flex. And again, you can brace them so yeah. when they come up and they jump sometimes because they don't like to be touched from behind where they can't see. So you could definitely hold them if they jump. So when you were first in 4-H and you were a lot smaller than mm -hmm. you are now, did you have a hard time holding on to these animals? I never, I've never had a sheep get away from me. Okay. I definitely had them try. So you practice though, don't yes. you at home? Uh, yes, all the time. So what do you do at home with this animal? <laughs> This sounds a little hillbilly-ish, but in order to walk them and yeah. build up their muscle, we have them on a halter like this, and yep. we tie them up to the back of our lawnmower, mm -hmm. and we drive the lawnmower yep. around. Yep. And that way, they can't fight us, and we won't have to force them. We won't have to break their necks yep. trying to yep. get them places. And So you get to relax while they do all the work. <laughs> really, That's yeah, what so goes on. Works. So, in other words, they get a lot of work getting done at home. Yeah. The other thing is, You've done something else to this animal, a couple of different things before you brought it to the fair. Uh, it looks, looks pretty clean, yeah, and we, it looks like it's been sh uh, had some of the wool <laughs> taken off. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a three-step process. Yeah. We wash them really good first, and then we blow dry them, and then we shear them. Okay. And the reason why we do that in that order is so the shears don't get dull. Okay. Because all the dirt and the grime from it uh, will they, they get dirty. down real quick. Yeah, they, they because all that wool will just hold that dirt right in there. Oh, yeah. And it's holding it in right now. As you can see, she's a little pink from rubbing on the uh, fences. Yeah, yeah. The paint comes off. So, so, so the little red fences over yep. here get a little bit of that going on. <laughs> yeah. So you've washed them, you've trimmed them. Uh, I kind of think it takes a while to trim one of these. We spent, I was at Camp We Can, so yeah. my poor family had yeah. to do all the five sheep and, and, but it usually takes half a day or the whole day to get everyone done. And okay. We You'll spend an hour or more on each one yeah. of these. Okay. Oh, yeah. At least, yeah, an hour or something. But we have stations. My dad helps here. I, me and my sister are either washing or blow drying. I have my Aunt Ashley. We have Mike yeah. Jones out. Yeah. It's okay. Just, we have a team. Okay. It's a, it's a holiday. <laughs> it really is. That sounds very good. So, okay, that's the things that we're looking at. That's the things we've done for this. Uh, how did you do this year? Um, actually, better than most years. Uh, every time I got into the ring, I came out with a third place ribbon, okay. which, honestly, I'm okay with that because there is a ton of crosses, and those are the ones that I show. This is Avery Montel's. Okay. She's tamer. All right. Um, but my, since there are so many and it's a hard competition, you strive for the best, but you have lininers in there, yeah. and you have... Sydney Miller, who's amazing at what she does in the sheep, and so it's just hard competition. So, so that's good. With that's pretty good. Her. You know, it's kind of interesting too. I believe uh, Landingers graze their own sheep, and yes. I assume Sydney does Sydney too. Sydney Miller does too. She okay, does a good job. so they're born and bred right here in the county, and yeah. that's really, really good to see <laughs> really that go good. on. That's very, very good. So, all right, that's it. That's what we're looking for. That's what the judge is looking for. When somebody comes out to the fair and they're looking at sheep judging, which will be next year, because we're already past it this year. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the kind of things that they would be looking for. Whitley, thank you. I appreciate no it. No problem. Uh, get an opportunity to see what it's like at the fair from a 4 h <laughs> standpoint. So uh, it's Mark Kepler, Purdue Extension Service. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mark Kepler, Purdue University Extension Service here in Fulton County. We're at the Fulton County Fair, and I want to go over a little bit about how we show hogs. Connor Summers is the one I'm going to pick on today to show us how to take care of a hog. We're going to take a look at the showmanship, and we're going to take a look at also the aspect of what the judge is looking for. So, Connor, tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. I've been in forage for four years. Okay. You do a lot of hog showing, don't you? Yeah, we go to about 15 shows a summer. Okay, so your guy, you, your mom said earlier about being on the circuit. Is that what's that mean? You show for points all summer in an Indy at State Fair. You they tally up points and you sh and you can win uh, prizes like scale show boxes. Okay, all right. So you guys go around and around the variety. So you get an opportunity to show then, don't you, in a lot of yeah. different places. So how well did you do in showing this year? I. With, I showed this this gill and another bear of mine that I've shown every weekend, and they've gotten top five at every show they've been to. Okay. I, she's been, she's won her class a couple times, got a couple seconds, and my York Barrow has been champion York Barrow okay. and reserve York Barrow, fifth overall Barrow. Okay. So where do these hogs come from? You went to far off exotic land and bought them, or how did you get these? We raised them. You raised them yourself, right here in Fulton County, right? Yep. Okay, and you'd raise another breed of hog we're going to be seeing here is called a what? The breed? Duroc gilt. That's a Duroc, and it's a gilt. So what does gilt mean? A girl. A girl. 
Okay? A girl's never had pigs. If it was a sow, it would have had pigs. Yes. Okay? Barrel, what's that mean? A boy. Boy, castrated boy in this yeah. situation. That's what we have. And for those who want to know why we do that thing, it's because if you don't, the meat of that animal will be imparted a really bad flavor. And that's why castration is done in, in, in livestock, especially in, in pork. Uh, it's done that way. Other livestock may not have that situation, but pork does. Okay, so you go to school where? Caston. Caston. And you're what grade? Going to be Seven. in what grade? Seventh grade. Okay. So you're looking forward to the big junior high now, okay? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. So now... This is a Duroc. It's a red hog. There are also other kind of hogs that are shown here. Do you show anything else besides a Duroc, or is that all you do? I show Yorks. I show crossbreds. Okay. I show Hamps. Okay. York is a white hog. Yes. Hamp is a black hog with a white stripe around it. Yes. Crossbred could be any of the combinations thereof, couldn't yes. it be? Okay. And you show those different ones. So if, um, if I was out in the ring and I was the judge out in the ring and I was looking at your hog, I want you to tell me what about this hog the judge is looking for. She's looking for how square she walks away. Okay. And making sure that it's not wide. Make sure they set their feet down square with their head. Okay. And they're looking for depth of body. Okay. Especially when it comes to market hogs, since they're going to be butchered. So you want to make sure that they have depth, they, they have big belly, and make sure that they are big top. Let's get you up here, girl. Let's get you up, girl. Take a look at you. And let's go through that a little bit, a little bit along that line. There you go. You've been showed a lot. So you're talking about, as we look down here at this animal, kind of show us those spots. So I want it wide. Where do I want her wide at? You want her wide down her top here. OK, that's the loin. That's where we get our pork chops, right? OK, what else? You want her to be big hip. You want her tail head to be about where it is now. Okay, kind of head up high. You don't want it to be down here. Okay, when we like nice hams, right? That's what we're doing on this. Okay, that looks good. You want to widen the shoulders, you said, too, and thick through the front. You talk about square, that means the legs come out like this rather than like this. Yeah. Okay, got it. Good. What else? You want her to be extended and uh, upheaded and okay. have, her have that show look. Okay. So she looks. Okay. Now this is a female. What would be the difference between a female and a barrel? Is there any big difference I'm looking for between the two of them? Well, you're, well you're for gilts, you're looking at them for market. I mean, for breeding. Breeding. And bears, you're looking for market. So with bears, you want to make them fat. Okay. Be fat and happy. Okay. And with the gilts, you're looking at breeding characters. Characteristics. characteristics. Okay. So uh, in other words, I want her to be able to not be too wide, not be too bulky because she's got to pass baby pigs through her sometime yes. and sometimes if they get really strung up with muscle they have a difficult time doing that so that's why we want to make sure they have a little more feminine aspects to them along that line okay so that's the thing that the judge is looking for as a showman what do you do to take care of this hog ahead of time for the fair what what kind of things do you do to get it ready for the fair well you want to start off with skin and hair like treating okay. them every night with uh Oil, like Champion's Choice, Peppy, Revive. Yep. Make sure they have good skin and hair. So they look pretty. They, they, just, they look pretty. Okay, not only do they look square and muscular, but they actually have a bloom, if you want to use that to, term to them. Okay. You make sure they're fed to make them look the best of their ability. Okay. You want to make sure that they're, you work with them at home. That way they're, you get into the ring and they're not running the gate, corner. Okay. They won't walk. They're running everywhere. Okay. I've seen a squealer. Tell me what a squealer is. Have you seen a squealer? What do they do? They're mad because they're because they just went out, so they're. Just and so they walk the ridge to the fence with squealing the whole time. It frustrates the guy that's run. He has the hogs. It takes away. They're hot. They're mad, and and it's not a good situation. So what do you do at home to prevent that? You walk them a lot, right? Yeah. And get them used to that. Endurance. You want to build their endurance. Okay, I'm used to walking. I know it's just another show. I'm out here doing this, and I don't become what I call a squealer. And that's a terrible thing to have to show because you can't win showmanship with a hog like that. All right. So, uh, so you take care of the hair. What else you do? You feed them to so that way they're not that skinny. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure they're fat and not too over over conditioned. Okay. So if I had a hog at home in my feed lot, I'd be giving it pretty much all the feed I can. But in this situation, you're showing this hog, you don't want it to be overly fat, you don't want to have a tremendous amount, so you kind of hold back on the feed a little bit. Kind of like we need to do. We don't want to eat all the time. 
So we want our hogs to look like us. I always tell people, if there's anything like a human being, it's a hog. They've got a lot of the same parts, a lot of the same the way they are, all right? Anything else you guys do? Well, we, every night they get rinsed, they get, they, they, they're, they're always feeling good, they always have fresh water, they're yep. fed two times a day. We walk them twice a day, yep. morning and night. So your summer is filled up with hogs, isn't it? Yes. And you're doing a lot of work and a lot of taking care of them. So it ain't, you're not just showing up here, running them in a the ring and showing them and going around and going home. And you spend a lot of time doing that. Okay. Yes. Anything else you can think of you want to cover? All right, well, let's do this next. <clears throat> let's think, oh, well, uh, by the way, while I'm here, let's talk about this. We've got this hog in a pen in the show ring right now. And the reason we got this in here is because at some point when you're showing out in the ring, you have to pen your hog. And we're in the first pen, so this is the hog you want to be in. This is the yeah. hog pen you want to be in. Because the, the judge will probably say, point at you, go pen one, and your job is to put that hog into the pen. That's part of showmanship, isn't it? Yes. You've got to be able to put that hog in here. So you want to make sure you have to be the one that opens the gate, put it in there, and you have to close the gate behind you. Okay. And when you're in here, you want to have the pig's head towards the gate. Okay. And kneel down and keep it right there. That way, when they open the gate, you're ready to go. So, so let's uh, let's break just a little bit here, and I'm going to change my position. We're going to come back. Okay. Okay, Connor. I'm the judge, and I've looked up and down these, and I'm not quite sure if your hog ought to be number one or not. So I'm ready to come and look at your hog. How are you going to make sure it's presented to me? I'm going to be right here, and I'm going to get their attention by that. You're going to do what it takes. Yeah. Get their head up like Yeah. Get them to, uh, I'll do it now. But I get their attention with my hand. Okay. Get them to my hand and get their head up. Okay. That way they got that look. And I just kind of walk around the pen. Okay. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to look at it right now and see what it looks like. Okay. All right, I've looked it over. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go down to the next pen, okay? All right, sounds good. Now, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna turn this hog out of the pen. We're gonna watch you show it, and then we're gonna put, you're gonna put it back in the pen and show us how to do that. So while you show this pig, when you get out here in the ring, what is your goal? And I'm gonna be the judge. I'm gonna stand out here and be the judge. What's your goal to do with that pig? Is to keep the judge in between the pig, the judge and you having the pig in between you okay. two all, at all, all right. times. Okay. And giving them every point of view you can. All right. Chest shots, butt shots, profile shots. That way he sees everything that's good about the pig. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. I'm the judge. Connor, bring your hog out. Okay. Connor has shut the gate behind him. Why did you do that, Connor? I'm going to ask you right now. Why'd you shut that gate behind you? Because nobody else is well, and, and it's your responsibility. It's good showman. You shut that gate so nobody else's hog gets in there. Okay, sounds good. I'm talking to you, and you can't show the hog. All right, now, I'm out here looking around, looking at everybody else. I'm going to look at this hog over here. I'm going to look at a hog somewhere else, and, and I'm standing here in the middle. Okay, you are got that pig. Why is that pig's nose up? Is that a good deal? I want his face up. I want his nose up in the air. Does that take you a long time to teach him how to do that? Not her. Okay. She's, she's, natural. she's natural at it. So <clears throat> if I walk over like this and I take a look at this hog and I'm looking, I'm the judge, I look through this and say, okay, I'm walking away. Then I go look at somebody else. What are you going to do with that pig? Bring it back around? How about I got my back to you, Connor? All right, sounds good. Bringing it in. Keeping an eye. How far away from me do you want to keep that hog? About this distance? Yeah. <coughs> okay. That's the minimum. All right, minimum. All right, sounds really good. I love that face up. She does a good job of that. Okay, let's let her go then. And you've been showing her around here and you've shown her several times. So, I am Mark Kepler with Purdue Extension. This is Connor Summers. We've kind of went over how to show a hog. Uh, here at the Fulton County Fairgrounds, and if you get an opportunity or know somebody wants to be in 4-H, we can always use more people showing hogs at this fairgrounds. Thanks, Connor. I appreciate it. You. you bet. And you also shake the judge's hand, don't yeah. you? That's a good deal. Yeah.